Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the next lesson in our D programming language series. In this lesson today, we're going to be setting up the Visual Studio Code Code D package. So this is going to allow us to, well, work with Visual Studio Code, which is a popular text editor with the D programming language. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So I've gone ahead and searched for the Code D uh, extension here for Visual Studio or this plugin that we can install. Um, and if you're familiar with Visual Studio, I think this is going to be relatively simple for you, but uh, I'm going to go through this for the first time. Um, I've actually not used this. As you folks know, I'm a, a Vim person. <laughs> I'd have a pretty minimal setup, but um, let's go ahead and set up this plugin here. Um, so from Visual Studio, let's go ahead to Extensions under Preferences here. And I'm going to go ahead and search for Code D uh, for the D programming language. Let's go ahead and install this. And it's just going to take a little bit of a time to install. Um, and uh, basically, um, let's go ahead and set up with our D compiler. Now, I use DMD. If you're using Mac, you might have LDC. Uh, you might be using GDC. Um, but let's go ahead and um, set this up. Um, let's see if it just finds our D compiler here. Let's see. So serve D from the setting D cert path is not installed. OK, so I've got to reinstall. Let's see if that does the trick here. Um, and let's see, it's found or auto detected my DMD compiler, uh, 2097. Let's see if that's true here. Uh, oh, looks like I do have a newer version here. Let's see if I can change it here. Uh, here we have, okay. So it's actually detected and you can see, I have a bunch of the, uh, versions here. Let's use the latest version here. Uh, so that's pretty good. That's pretty clean here. Uh, let's see, enable import timing. Uh, I'm going to let it do the defaults for now. Let's just go ahead to OK there. Um, so OK, um, let's see if that did the trick here. It says open this at any point later. Control Shift P uh, for the user guide here. Um, OK, we got a little tutorial here. Let's actually take a look at some of this stuff here because this is a neat plugin. And again, yeah, anything that improves your uh, development experience tooling and stuff can be useful, especially when you're working on a, a team. It's important to have some uh, linters and these types of things here. Um, yeah, this is kind of cool that we have built in a language tutorial here. Um, so a lot of effort has been built into this plugin here. Uh, let's see. Here's our hello world. Um, OK, let's see. I've got a little uh, setup project here. Yeah, teaching us about how to write our code. Um, let's see some things to note here. Uh, okay, so it looks like it is going to work fine with dub projects and these sorts of things, which is great. Uh, let's go to building here. Terminal, run task. Okay, and then we can set up a task for uh, dub here. Dub's the, the build system for D. I haven't gone super deep into that in this series. I don't think I've actually shown it too much. Um, I do use it on occasion, though. Um, so it looks like we can use that here. And then you can just do uh, dub run or run the task here, as is being shown here. Okay. Um, I mean, really, for a lot of folks, um, this is going to be quite uh, nice because then you can set it up with all your other um, uh, setups here. Uh, okay, so this is just showing how to work with dub here. Okay, so this is worth reading through. Let's go ahead and see if we can just start a new uh, D project here. I'm just going to start a new text file. Um, let's save it somewhere. I'll just save it as like hello.d. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, just give that a try here. Um, Let's go ahead, let's see if I do some of the imports. So it's got the keywords, standard, <laughs> it auto-completed here. Oh, this is awesome already. Um, look, it's got the like the common libraries. I mean, it at least at the least knows about all the uh, standard libraries here, uh, which is super nice. So let's go ahead and just do, uh, yep, and it's recognizing right line. Uh, let's see, uh, oops, I did control N, I'm so used to uh, them here. Uh, hello world. Oh, beautiful. And it's giving us all the arguments and help and stuff. So this plugin's done quite a nice job here. Uh, this is going to be nice for beginners of the language here. Uh, now let's see, it's, it's giving me the, let me save it, put the semicolon. Yes. It's even giving me, uh, some, you know, warnings and stuff here. Uh, so if I go ahead and create a new struct and again, it's giving me like all the keywords here. Uh, I don't know for like a vertex or something, uh, something like this. Let's see if it gives us that autocomplete already. Vertex, beautiful. Um, and then we can set this up with uh, something like this. Uh, whoops. And let's go ahead and 
Uh, here, let's set this up. There we are. Uh, let's go ahead and write that out here. And uh, great. So I love the code completion. I mean, this is a pretty smooth uh, tool here. Uh, so let's actually try to run this here. Uh, so if I go to run, um, now let's see. I need to run task. I think that's what it was showing to set up here. Uh, what if I just like do this here? Um, select my debugger. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I don't use Visual Studio Code too much here. I mean, certainly you can go to the terminal here and do um, this here. Um, and it's just going to run. So that's fine. I mean, you could always do that. That's how I probably would run. Um, but let's see. I think we can actually get some stuff um, uh, set up here. I wonder, dub? OK, this is what it was recommending. This isn't a dub project, though. OK, so let's actually try this with a dub project. Then we can actually debug it. Um, I don't have much stuff here as far as uh, breakpoints and, and things, but that's kind of cool that I, it looks like I can set up that integration. Because if I'm just doing this here, yeah, that's just running it here. Uh, so let me go ahead and exit that. Let's do a new, um, actually, here's what I'll do here in this uh, terminal here. Let's make a new directory, uh, VS code dub test. Uh, go in here and let's do dub init. Um, I'll just call it project here. I basically just create a blank um, D language project. Again, we haven't talked too much about dub here, but I just want to see if the integration works here. Uh, and let's actually open up that folder here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and try to find that. And here it is in the project. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up here. And then now let's see, I've got source. I've got my app here. Let's go ahead and see if I can do the run task here. See if it's already just uh, set up here. Dub build project here. Oh, brilliant. OK, um, let's see. So terminal will be used. Press any key to close it. OK, uh, run task here. I've got dub. Uh, let's show all the tasks here. Dub run project here. And uh, yeah, it's actually just running the project here. Oh, that's awesome. Um, let me see what the shortcut is for that. Uh, run. Let's see. I wonder if I could just do F5 here or Control F5. Let's see if that does it here. Does that just run it here? I might have to just set it up here with dub. Oh, let's see. This is just me having to learn how to use these things. All right, line. Our project is now running. And let's go ahead and save that. Um, run. I know folks uh, folks are going to love this here, running that. And yeah, our project's now running. All right, so it's got nice uh, dub integration. Um, I'm probably still using like uh, GDB and these types of things from the, the terminal here. Um, so it does have some uh, built-in support for that, um, which if folks want to see, maybe I'll play around with that for a little bit. But uh, overall, pretty easy setup to get started with Visual Studio Code here. Uh, thank you to the authors. Uh, I think they were, uh, let's actually do Control Shift P, uh, or let's see, how do we get to the help of that extension here? Let's just go to the website. Uh, but just quick shout out to the uh, authors and some of the contributors who've gotten special thanks here. Um, looks like Hacker Pilot, uh, Dan and Jan here. Um, uh, this is a really nice project for the D programming language, and um, your efforts are appreciated. And I think this is a great thing to use with Dub, or even if you just want the code completion, uh, this is a really nice setup with Visual Studio Code. I might uh, start using this with some more projects. Again, I really like just doing everything from the terminal, but the, the code completion is really cool here for learning the language. Uh, but anyways, folks, uh, with that said, hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, finally got to see something else other than Vim on this series, but um, it's nice to explore some of the tools that can uh, really help your development experience when used properly. Uh, and if you've got other tools that you like using specifically with the D language, feel free to let me know. And with that said, folks, thank you for your time and attention. I'll look forward to seeing you in that next video.